The Family Issues of Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson. I couldn't be a worse, couldn't be a worse father and I couldn't be a worse human being. No, I'm tired of that. It is exhausting. The dam has burst here in a big way. I don't know why he took them, for no reason. Why am I so unhappy? What have I done wrong? What happened in Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson's family? The problem was with their son, Chester. And I don't know what to do right now because everything's starting to come to light. He has been through all possible addictions. Horribly painful time, fraught with uh, emotion and bad feelings. And For me, it's just a part of my day. This unpleasant situation led to a conflict between Tom and Rita. In any long-term relationship, you're going to have your ups and downs, and sometimes there's going to be big flames happening and it's all awesome. But sometimes those flames can like get a little dim and there's like little embers. And How has Rita and Tom's marriage experienced this? Once, Tom admitted that he first saw Rita in 1972. He was watching a sitcom, The Brady Bunch, that starred Rita Wilson. Wilson, where are you? Wilson! To meet Rita in real life, Tom had to grow up and become an actor. It happened in 1981 when she starred in an episode of the sitcom in which Tom played the lead role. Paid $50 a week, which was the difference between <laughs> life and death. But Tom was already married to his first wife, Samantha Lewis. They tied the knot in 1978. Samantha gave birth to their son, Colin, when Tom was only 21. So when Tom and Rita first crossed paths, forming a romance wasn't really on the agenda. Look, I, I, uh, Tom and I, that was one of the things that when we met, we just got along uh, instantly because we, first of all, I love a good storyteller. So anybody who can tell a good story, I'm down with that. Just four years later, they were reunited on the set of the film Volunteers. We were wondering when we were going to see each other again. Tom said that his first marriage was stale and loveless. We probably got married a little too young. Tom and Rita married just a year after Tom split from Samantha. You wake up in the morning and say, how can we stay together today? <laughs> well, I would say that getting married and, and having an established family and just being a guy in the neighborhood was something that I always thought was going to happen, but it never had. And then when it did, it made so much sense that it ended up freeing me up. The next few years of Tom's career were filled with blockbuster hits. At the same time, Rita's career as an actress was taking off. I didn't have the idea that I could be an actor. It's easy to imagine how the fame would put a strain on any relationship. Tom said that his relationship with Rita made him a better actor. Got lucky. No secrets, it's about winning the lottery. She could have done better, but man, oh, oh man, stop. I'm, you guys not, are perfect. I'm no dope. I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm sticking with her, man. I, ain't no way to do better. Probably me bossing Tom around. <laughs> but every perfect relationship is truly tested when the going gets tough. His marriage was tested in 2015 when Rita was diagnosed with breast cancer. Unfortunately, uh, more of my friends have been diagnosed and I was diagnosed in uh, 2015. So I feel that we still may have a long way to go. An illness like this could drive a partner away, but it made Rita and Tom even closer. She's the bravest woman I know. Uh, you, you sat there and watched her just face down absolutely everything with, with almost no complaint. A little later, their marriage was tested again, but they helped their son meet the challenge. You just don't really want to make the change yet. You don't really want to do the work yet. You, you, there's a part of you that, that knows that you need to make a change, but you just, keep, you, you just can't really shut that door. You can't really shut that door on your life and just move on to a new chapter. Next month, I'll be celebrating three years of sobriety. I get a lot of advice from my dad. So, what's the secret to their incredible 30-year success? Marrying someone you just get along with. 
I mean, there's nothing really dramatic about being married for 30 years. And when I met her, it was like she had deep roots. I immediately felt, felt comfortable. I immediately felt like I was with people who were interested.